Hey, Risa G, coming in from her cluttered kitchen once again uh, to discuss Instant Pot, one pot mac and cheese. Yes, I know, I've done Instant Pot, one pot mac and cheese before. You can uh, look at the other video, I'll post it in the cards for you to see. Um, but after that recipe, I wasn't exactly thrilled with the consistency and creaminess of that specific recipe that I was following. And so I discussed it with my other moderators and admins on Instant Pot Cooks on Facebook and came up with the fact that a lot of people use cream cheese and also processed cheese, like the cheese with a V, um, something that I don't normally cook with. Um, but that's what they use to get that creamy consistency. And so I decided to play around with the recipe and um, so that's what I'm using in this one, okay? So I've already cooked up a bag of this Del Verde's um, new pasta that um, has chickpeas in the pasta um, or more fiber, I guess, to compete against uh, brands like uh, Bonsai and whatever. Um, Never tried it before, but it tastes pretty good. I just tasted a little piece, so it tastes pretty good. Um, and so I've already cooked it. I'm going to put this on saute. And it's on, I have to adjust it to low, right? And it's going to heat up a little bit. And then I'm supposed to add the butter. There's a little bit of butter. Okay, so I add the butter and uh, the cream cheese. The cream cheese, uh, which does not want to come out of here. Uh, the cream cheese. All right, I can use my grandmother's old spatula. That one too. Um, to get it out of here. Okay, so I want to mix the cream cheese in a little bit first. Make sure that the cheeses are at room temperature before you start cooking, because that way they'll melt easier and, um, and they'll coat more evenly, I guess. Um, so we do that, and then I'm um, going to add eight ounces of the cheese with a V, and um, all right, so it's just saute, put it on saute on lower, and to mix everything in, it's getting a little difficult to mix. I can tell you that much, I guess, because it's thick um, and you gotta be a little strong I guess to do it um, once I get this stuff mixed in I'm gonna add in some Monterey Jack cheese because this recipe called for eight ounces well two two, two cups so 16 ounces of cheddar and although I don't really particularly like cheddar I am using the cheddar processed cheese I'm also using eight ounces of Monterey Jack because I like it better than cheddar and we'll mix that in now see I don't like this lower setting I'm gonna change it to saute and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna adjust it I think to normal I think I like that better it'll melt it a little bit faster that way all right and I'm going to once I get it mixed up I also have to add in some cream or half and half I think this recipe calls for half and half that I'm trying to uh, to adapt. Um, that's better. See, it's getting nice. And it looks like it's getting nice and creamy. How about that? 
Okay. All right. We'll let it saute for a minute. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, I think this is a good one. Mmm. Tastes creamy. Mmm. Very tasty. Mmm. That's definitely yummy. All right. I think it says spinach. I'm just going to put peas. Everybody in this house loves peas. I have some kind of vegetable. I was going to serve it with a salad, but I think I'll just serve it as a one pot thing. Okay. And I think once the peas have heated up, yeah, we're done. I think we have achieved the goal of creaminess with an instant pot macaroni and cheese. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. We got creaminess, people. We got creaminess. Excellent. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna serve it, at least for myself. My son does not like spicy things particularly. So he will have it plain, maybe garnished with a little bit of Parmesan or something like that. I'm gonna put these um, crunchy fried onion, and that, well, they're not onions. They're from the company that makes the crunchy fried onions, but they're jalapenos. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna have. Oh, yes. All right, so that, since that's done, I'm gonna, since it's probably an hour before we're gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna put it on a uh, long, warm session. And let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. It's perfect. It's creamy. It's unctuous. I think we have reached our goal. Creamy. Instant pot. One pot mac and cheese. Yeah. Excellent. Um, oh, anyway, if you make the recipe, let me know. I'll uh, post it. Either in the cards or underneath in the notes. And uh, if you want to see more Instant Pot recipes, let me know. Please like, subscribe, press the little bell. And also visit me. I'm on all the different social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you want to see all my pictures of my nightly dinners, lunches, breakfasts, whatever, on Insta on Instagram. Um, go ahead. Okay? And, um, <laughs> and, um, I guess that's it. Thanks for coming into my kitchen. Bye.